Welcome to update 2.2 of the Stream Deck MIDI plugin. There has been some confusion lately about plugin versions, so please note that this update is for the MIDI plugin, not for the Cubase or Nuendo plugins. There are a couple of bug fixes and a new feature in this update, and the first bug fix, or should I say a new feature, is that the scrub wheel now works as intended. I come back to that in a bit. The other bug fix is also in the Mackie control action, where dual state buttons like the solo button sometimes could get stuck in the on position, even though the function is switched off in your door, but that should be fixed in this update. The new feature is in the control change action, where you now have a new button type for VPOT. VPOT is a name borrowed from the Mackie control, where it is a knob that you can turn. And just as in the Mackie control action, you can set the rotation speed and the rotation direction for the button. I had to implement a new solution for the graphical display, since the control change action has much higher resolution than what the Mackie control action has. So it looks a bit different in the editor. You have a number of built-in designs to choose from, and that's the designs shown in the top row on the display. You can also add your own design by clicking the Add Design button and select an XML file that defines how that button should be displayed. Please look at the website for more details for how to design the images and the XML file if you want to make your own button. But just select the XML file and open, and you have the new design ready. If you want the same design on multiple buttons, you can add a new button and set VPOT. And then you have that selected design available in the menu. So you don't need to add the design for each button. You can just select it in the menu. The last thing you can define is what I call active span. And it's the ring that is displayed around the button that just gives you a visual feedback of the state of the button. And you have a couple of options to choose from. The current setting from mean to max could be used for, for instance, volume, where it shows how much you have selected. You can also select from midpoint, in which case it's more like a pan control. It shows from the midpoint. Or you can select to have it just at the current value, like this. Please note that this setting is for display only. It doesn't change the function of the button, it's just how the active span is displayed. In the Mackie control action, I have added the same type of graphic solution as in the control change action. So you can now select the same kind of graphical display for the Mackie control action as the new feature in the control change action. And you can add design the same way. And when you add a design, it will be added to the menu for both the Mackie control action and for the control change action. Now the final thing is the scrub wheel. It works more or less like a VPOT, but it is endless. It doesn't stop at the end points as VPOTs do. And there is a specific scrub wheel design that is intended to look like a scrub wheel. It doesn't affect functionality in any way. It's just made to be similar to a real scrub wheel. That's all for update 2.2. Thanks for watching.